Hi guys. Got a couple of random bits of cardboard here. They were the stiffening or packaging in with some, uh, what were they? Pillow case covers or something or other. Anyway, just a couple of bits of cardboard. They're corrugated, or at least yeah, got the ridges in them. And they happen to be 180 by 250. And I'm going to see if I can make a rubber band powered car. Got a knife, got a couple of bits of barbecue skewer, pencil, compass, and I've got some super glue there. I don't know if that will be any good. It usually doesn't work very well on cardboard. It's very thin, that, that stuff. Pound, pound land, I think. Anyway, what I'm going to do is fold the sides up. I'm going to measure 30. Hopefully that will help keep our wheels parallel. If we do the measurement now, 15. Where I want the axles to go through is where I've measured in that 15 by 15. So I'm making my axle holes now, widen them a little bit. Right now, I'm going to put a little bit of super glue on there, and that should stiffen it up so it doesn't tear. Super glue, crazy glue, I believe you call it in other places. Right, that should stiffen up those holes. I'll leave that to dry for a minute. All right, we need some wheels. So that one's 180 again. So half of 180 is 90, half of 90 is 45. I've just remembered doing this, I've had a request to do a balloon powered car. So I'm going to change course here in the middle, rather than making it rubber band powered, which we could still do, I'm going to make this one balloon powered. There's not much difference. What I'm going to do here is along the lines that I've drawn 30 millimeters in, I'm just going to crush it. So we can fold it. Just see if they're wide enough to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they should be all right. What we want now is to stop them springing open. And what I'm thinking of doing is cutting the corners off and using them as brackets.
Might have to speed this up a bit. I'm waiting for glue to dry. wheels I'm going to glue onto the axles but we don't want them to rub against the side of the body so I'm going to cut some small pieces and put them in so we've got spacers Right, I've been out for a cup of coffee, so hopefully this is all nicely glued in place. Yep, seems fine. Now the next thing is, I said I was going to make this a balloon powered car. I might still do rubber band power to prove it works, but I did have a request for a balloon powered car. So, I got a balloon. I got a bit of plastic tubing. I'm not quite sure where this came from, but you do need some sort of plastic tubing to hold the neck of the balloon open, and it's also a handy way of holding it in place. So I usually find um, plastic pens, like felt tip pens or something like that, that are the right sort of size. But being as I've just found this bit of plastic tubing, I'm going to try that out. So I'm going to put some rubber bands around there to hold it on the tube and then we need some way of attaching it on the car. So I think I might just use a bit of cardboard, cut a hole in it for the tube to stick through and see if that will do the job. Uh, let's have a look. We've already measured that one. 45. Let's come another 4. In fact, yeah, another 4. And 45 there. Draw the lines. Something like that. I'm making these sizes up as I go along, 60-60, so we want to be able to fold that up like that, yeah, that should do the job. hole in there for the tube to go through. Let's just fold that. Uh, hole. Should be 
all right. Obviously you'd cut that hole to suit whatever plastic tube you're using. So we want that to sit up there somewhere. The usual problem with balloon powered cars is the balloon rubs on the wheels. So ideally you'd set it up a bit higher so it can't rub on the wheels. I didn't think about that when I did this so we'll just have to hope it doesn't rub on the wheels too much. Right, I'll let that dry for a few seconds. I've cut that bit of tubing shorter. Right, that's going to go in there, but obviously when that blows, it'll just blow straight out so you want another rubber band to wrap around the outside to hold it in place. Right, so I should be able to blow that up and with a bit of luck it will push it along. You may have to experiment with the size of balloon to get the best results. I'll give it a test run then. Point it in a reasonably straight line. Not bad. I'll try it the other way. Well, that works absolutely fine. That was about eight meters we just did there. With no adjustments, just exactly as I made it. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.